Hi everyone. Now, there's a little test with that first part of the video. How much of that clip did you pay attention to? That was the actual clip that is going to be featured and analysed a little bit shortly. But how much did you actually see? Was it the graphics that put you off? Was it the music that detracted your attention from what you should be watching? And that's the question that I'd like to ask first of all. How much does music interrupt your concentration while you drive? So please get involved in the poll. Please let me know whether music actually hinders or whether it helps you with your driving. Now, let's crack on to the clip again. Big thanks to Richard who sent this clip in. And it's a very, very, very awkward situation. Could he have done anything different? Honestly, I don't think so. But let's go through a little bit of analysis and see how much you didn't pay attention first time round. First of all, this looks like a residential road, so it's a 30 limit and our camera's driving sensibly. This is the first point in the clip where we can see some sort of hazard happening a little touch further up. When you saw the clip first time round, did you spot this car? And it's the first one to actually pass the white Volkswagen. If you didn't see it, watch what it does shortly. Our camera Richard did spot this going on, but he did admit that this probably confused him even more. As you can see, the other car disappears out of sight. Even when I freeze frame here, there's nothing saying to me that I should go and wait behind that van. Let me explain why. Although there are roadwork signs, they are lacking in what they are telling the road users. They don't warn of traffic lights whatsoever. Would this have made the whole situation much, much easier? The next thing which is a massive confusion for this situation is the position of the white transporter next to the kerb. If it would have been positioned in the middle of the lane like it should have been, that may be enough of a clue to say it's actually on the road and not parked. And it's this for me which is the cause of the confusion and the awkwardness. Richard does progressively slow down, but by the time he sees the red light it's too late. He proceeds then to make the best out of the bad situation, tucks it in as much as he can and tries to leave the oncoming traffic an easy-ish route through. And when he does a little bit of reversing and stops his bum of his car from sticking out, the route through and the flow is resumed. Just thinking back to the start of the video for a second, where the car went past the white Volkswagen. These lights were probably on red at that point, do you think that first car interrupted the flow of these coming the other way? So don't forget, there are situations that happen out on the road that honestly we cannot plan as good as we would like. And it's just a case, as Richard did here, of making the best of a bad situation. When you are parking in a queue and you're maybe behind a temporary set of lights, it would be a good shout to take a little bit better position in the middle of your lane. And thinking about that position as well, if that white Volkswagen transporter had have been in the middle of the lane, do you think Richard on the approach may have got a little spy of the red light down to the left pavement side? I think that's probably the case. A big thanks to all my viewers and subscribers who keep sending me these clips. Please continue to do so and if you can check us out on instagram and give us a follow if you could anyway that's it for today thanks a lot for watching i'll see you all soon <laughs>